Hey guys, I was doing a training session for a bunch of newer agents who are buyer's agents and I started digging into the steps to buying a house and I was challenging them on how well do they know the steps to buying a house and how well can they educate the average buyer out in the marketplace about that. And then I launched into a little bit of research and then I went into a challenge and an assignment to them on how they can up their game with being able to present the steps to buying a house, how they can do that not only uh, in a presentation, but also online and also in video. So I hope you enjoyed this. This was again, a live session. I sped it up a little bit in the recording. So I hope you enjoy get to the end because that's where the assignment is. So if you're a new agent, this is something that I believe all new agents, you must complete the assignment of this training session because this is how you are going to become an expert and to be able to confidently tell people, you work with me, I will help you find the house, secure the house, and make sure it is an amazing process and help you through the process and to do that confidently, which is step one of being a great real estate agent. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. If you haven't jumped on my email newsletter that I send out once a, once a week, just go down below and just give me your name and email address and I'll add you to that. <clears throat> Have an awesome day and I hope you enjoy. I wrote this question down and the question is, is what is the true the true between, you know, you work professionals, what is the true steps to buying a house? And if it was a perfect linear process, how would it go? And I'll be honest with you, when I talk to real estate agents all over the planet and I ask them, what are the steps to buying a house? What's the process to buying a house? I find a lot of them are very, uh, they're vague and they're generalist. And they've almost never actually really thought it through, right? From, you know, step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, all the way through to the end. Now, I'm going to show you guys something that I think is really interesting. And I highly recommend that you do this yourself is Google it and let's see what is actually on the online. So I'm going to share my screen and check this out. Okay. So I typed into Google, right? And I love how Google did some predictive analytics. What are the steps to buying a house? Steps to buying a house for the first time. What do you need to buy a house for the first time? Steps to buying a house with bad credit. First time home buyer qualifications, home buying process and checklist, home buying process timeline. Now, why am I pointing those things out, by the way? The key words, key phrases. I'm, po I'm pointing those out because what I'm letting, what Google did here when I put this into Google, Google said that lots of people are asking these questions that the customers out there in the world, these are the most common things that they type into Google. In essence, what I just did is we just did consumer research behavior, okay? Consumer research behavior. And by the way, mortgage calculator, what is, why would someone be looking at a mortgage calculator? Let me ask you guys that interesting question. I mean, they want to know how much they can afford and what kind of uh, outlet yeah. they might have for the property. Yeah. Yeah, people are very curious about the purchasing power and how finance works. And so it's interesting to be aware that uh, when you actually look at the, the consumer research behavior, Google Analytics, lots and lots of people are using these mortgage calculators all the time. So it's, it's just an interesting to be aware of what this is. But let's just get into, the, let's get into the question. So let's ask Google what Google believes is the most reputable and the most read and the most thorough article that answers the question. And let's see what Google says. Wow, that's so funny. Google says that Rocket Mortgage has the most reputable, has the most uh, thorough article on how to buy a house in the step-by-step -step process. It's kind of sad, don't you guys think that actually maybe the National Association of Realtors or that, you know, realtor.com doesn't have it or something from our industry doesn't have it. It's kind of weird, don't you think? Since we are the industry of helping people buy houses, why the heck does Rocket Mortgage have the number one? This is a really interesting question, isn't it? Okay. And then Investopedia has the second. Quicken Loans has the third. NerdWallet has the fourth. 
discover.com has the fifth. Zillow has the seventh. And then Home Guides F- SF Gate. That's interesting. And then List with Cleaver. I mean, it's kind of sad, don't you think, that our real estate, the industry of real estate, actually doesn't have a ranking on the first page of Google in terms of how to buy a house and the step by step process. It's kind of a weird thought, isn't it? So let's take a look at what the number, what Google determines is the number one uh, resource for this information. And let's look at it because this is what everybody else is looking at, right? So buying a, buying a house in 2021, step-by-step, step, how to, right? Okay, decide whether you're ready to buy a house. Good idea. Calculate how much how much of a house you can afford. Purchasing power, great idea. Save your down payment and closing cost, or be aware of them. Get pre-approved for a mortgage. Find the right real estate agent. Begin house hunting. Make an offer on a house. Get a home inspection. Get an appraisal. Ask for appraisal credits. Do a final walkthrough. Clause on the home. Not too bad, right? Right. Good. So decide whether or not you're what whether you're ready to buy a house. Income and employment status. Debt to income ratio. Assets. Credit health. Willingness to live in one place. Timing. Pretty good stuff. Not too bad. Calculate how much you can afford. Obviously, debt to income ratio, and this is Rocket Mortgage, so they're really excited about that. Save for down payment and closing cost, down payment, closing cost, other costs based on loan type. Good idea. Get pre approved. Rocket Mortgage is really excited about that. Find the right real estate agent. Oh, by the way, Rocket Mortgage uh, is uh, referring, uh, they are ref- they're referring their leads to real estate agents right now for referral fees, by the way. Same thing that Zillow is doing, same thing that everybody's doing. So you should probably look into that because since this is the number one blog, meaning that the most Google is recommending this blog more than any other blog that exists in the in the United States, that means that they're going to get a lot of traffic. That means they're going to capture a lot of leads. And then they're going to have a lot of leads to give to real estate agents, aren't they? Mm-hmm. So it's probably a pretty, pretty good idea for you guys to look into that, wouldn't you agree? Okay. Begin the house. Step six, begin the house hunting process. Square footage, conditions, access to public transportation, bedrooms, baths, local entertainment, local school districts, property value trends, property real estate taxes. Uh, that's a nice list. Is that, is that better than what you guys cover? Right. Make an offer on a house, earnest money, accepting the offer, reject, give the counter offer, home inspections, home appraisals, appraisal contingencies, ask for repairs, interesting stuff, final walkthrough close on your new home, final thoughts, the overall process. Thanks, Victoria. You did a good job. Okay. So now my question to you guys is, this is what makes me sad in our industry is that our real estate, the National Association of Realtors, the California Association of Realtors, the fact that we actually don't teach, train, talk about, and or or even have blog posts, articles, video, and education we don't even actually in our industry talk about the steps to buying a home and we're not even competing with in, in nationally for being the resources for the steps to buying a home. It's kind of weird, don't you think? Now, going along with the last video we talked about where we talked about how to get loyalty, right? And we were discussing kind of the fact that like, how do we earn respect from the customer? How do we earn respect? And then how do we gain trust? And then how do we, um, how do they see that there's some advantage working with us versus anyone else? So let me, my question to you guys is, is are you, what, could you explain the steps to buying a home better than Rocket Mortgage in your respective marketplaces? What's? Yes. I hope so. Absolutely. Right. Now, let me ask you an important question is, Well, where is your document? Where is your presentation on the steps to buying a home? Right? And this is what what I would say is your assignment. Now, one of the easiest ways to to crush this assignment Mm -hmm. would be very simple. Type it into Google. Go read through Rocket Mortgage, Zillow, Investopedia. Read through all of the stuff that they have. Take the headlines, the sub-headlines that they have. Right. Look at the steps that they all have and then make a nice page and then just make yours significantly better. By the way, this is, you know, this is how all of those guys do it, by the way. So 
what Rocket Mortgage did because they're the newest player in the space. Previously, Investopedia was ranking as number one. Previously, Dave Ramsey and Zillow would be in the top five. Realtor.com would be in the top five. But Rocket Mortgage has jumped on top of them and is, is outperforming them. So one of the ways that they do that is they go take a look at what everybody else has done. And then they just add more and make it a little bit better, make it a little bit more thorough. And so in the game of online SEO, that, that is actually the game. It's kind of quite entertaining. Okay. So my request to you guys is, so what would happen if you had a nice PDF of the steps to buying a home? What would happen if you had a nice video series on the steps to buying a home? And then you could now share that. Maybe it was a PDF and you met a, a, a new buyer that was new into the marketplace. And you said, hey, you know, have you taken any time to, you know, read about or learn about the steps from A to Z on how to buy a home? Most of them are going to say, well, not really. And then if you said, well, I, you know, I have written a, a thing of what I do and how I do it on the steps to buying a home. And I've researched, you know, everything that's out there uh, in the internet, you know, and as an expert, would you like me to share that with you? There's, I've written down the 12 steps. Would you like to look at that? What are they going to say? Sure. And now if they actually read it, even just the fact of having it makes you look like what? Expert. Yep. Now, and just to keep things very simple, if you had one and then the other agent that they were talking to didn't have one. Stand out. It makes me stand out. Makes you stand out. Yep. Right? Okay. And what I also... What's interesting to me too is as you guys go look at each step and as you reflect on the step and you do some research on that step and you look at what all of the players are saying about that step and then you think about what you say and how you say it and then you put a little bit of words on to a piece of paper, what happens is, is all of a sudden your presentation just gets significantly better. And so this is, uh, I've, been, I've been really reflecting on this question of how do you become an expert? Well, this would be the process, right? If we were just saying, look, clearly the world agrees that step one is this. So to become an expert, why don't I go read what all of the top most respected experts say and recommend and how they present step one. And then what I'll do is I'll study that inside and out. And then I will then go create a presentation of the best in the world. And this will become my new step one, mm -hmm. right? And so then now, in essence, are you now demonstrating the highest level of expertise in that moment? That's pretty cool stuff, right? So there's some practice there. And, and then Jay, one of the things that I would love to see too in this process is if after you kind of write it out a little bit, right? You don't have to like write out like this perfect, you know, thing, like a perfect blog post, but you kind of make your points like, I like this point. I like the way that they explained it this way. I think this point is important. This needs to be explained. This is a good analogy. And here's a good case study, that kind of, so it's just a nice little bullet points. It's, you know, a little bit, uh, it's a memory jogger for you. But what then what I would really love to see is I'd love to see you do a video presentation of that information. And obviously, you know, Jay, you're, you're working on Toastmasters right now, which, you know, you know, I love. Thank you. And, you know, the reason why I'm saying that Delray is because if I can now see, you know, you could practice in a video presenting this new expert knowledge and kind of go through the motion of practicing it on video, then what's going to happen the next time that you are at an open house talking to a buyer, the next time that you are on the phone with a Zillow lead talking about the steps to buying a home, the, the next time that you are showing a property for the first time with a buyer and you can tell that they're pretty new to this process, or the next time that you're on a buyer consultation with a first time home buyer, the next time you explain step one, they're going to be like, wow, you're really good. And that my friends is really the, the purpose of this. Mm -hmm. So I, I would love for us as the assignment this week is just to really a go do the research first on the steps to buying a home. Then let's go and start working on each step and you crafting your explanation, your expert advice, your wisdom for that, how you would recommend that not only uh, for locally as well. 
And if I can get you to start writing some things down, that would be amazing. If we got you to write a blog post, that would be amazing. If we got you to create a video, that would be incredible. Mm -hmm. If we got you to create an email that for every one of your colder leads or newer leads, you actually had an email template that you automatically send to every one of them sharing your steps to buying a home. That'd be kind of cool. And then what if we started, what if we created, if we had a 12 steps to buying a home, what if we actually created a 12 emails with each step and you then had a 12 email <laughs> drip campaign for cold, old, or new leads. And what if each one of those steps had a little description of your expert uh, assessment plus a video. So we had 12 emails with high quality expert advice that you put lots of thought in and a video. Yeah. And we had a 12 email drip campaign. Do you think if we had all of that, we could increase the loyalty, the respect and the conversion rate of the leads that we're getting that are cold leads, people that don't know you really well, but you have an opportunity at. Could we increase respect, loyalty, and the conversion rate if we had that? What do you guys think? Yep, yep. Yeah, I love it. And we are yeah. to the presentation ourselves. So next time, just kind of somebody wakes up, wakes me up from sleep, I can just talk to them nicely about 12 points and go yeah. on. Absolutely. Okay. And and again, and what I'm re really reflecting on is this is how we become experts in a topic, right? And, and really demonstrate expertise and to be seen as an expert, as opposed to asking for people to treat us like experts. Let's demonstrate that we are experts, right? Pretty cool stuff, right? Super. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. And then, you know, this, you know, we can then go look at uh, first time home buyers also. We can go look at uh, how to, you know, the steps to sell a home and do the same process. Okay. And, you know, I'll, I'll leave you guys with this final question. What's the difference between the Hilton Garden Inn and the Ritz Carlton? The Hilton Garden Inn and the Ritz Carlton. What's the difference? Hilton Garden Inn, I'm, I'm going to pay $150 a night for a stay. The Ritz Carlton, I could pay a thousand dollars for a stay. It's the same service, isn't it? Meaning, it's a hotel in a city, could even be on the same street, and you get a room to sleep in. The same service, right? It provides the same basic outcome. But why do I pay ten x more for one than the other? Uh, the perceived service, the attention to details. What else? Uh... I'll summarize it for you to, to kind of put this whole presentation together. The difference between the Ritz Carlton and the Hilton Garden Inn is that the Ritz Carlton obsesses over every step of the customer's journey and experience, every step of their journey. And they look at every detail of the step and they make sure that the standards of what the customer experiences at each step is delightful, is that if every sense is enheightened, that their experience of the staff, their experience of the environment, the ease, there's an expectation of elegance and flow. There's like, the, the, uh, you know, when the moment that the person comes into the experience, they probably feel more relaxed. They feel like they, they, they're going to get this highest level of service. They just, there's, you know what I mean? Like, so the Ritz Carlton obsesses on each step of the customer's experience and journey versus the Hilton Garden Inn is like, whatever. Come on in. We got a house. We, we got a, we got a room. We got rooms. We'll make it pleasant for you. Right. And, you know, when you and I go into the Hilton or the, you know, the Hampton Inn or whatever, we're kind of like, oh shit, like, all right, is there going to be cockroaches or is it going to be okay? Like, is the bed going to be comfortable or is it going to be uncomfortable? Like, do you think that they're going to have some soap and some shampoo in the shower or not? You know what I mean? Like, are the towels going to be crusty or are they going to be nice? We don't even know how this is going to go. It's kind of like a crapshoot. That's how it is with real estate agents, by the way. 
We just don't know how the hell this is going to go. Okay. So my friends, let's write out our steps. Let's start obsessing over the details of how the customer experiences that step and make it amazing and delightful such that they're just like, wow, this was amazing. Reduce all the stress. We future paced all of the problems. We educated and made sure that at each step of the process, they were like, this was a five-star experience that I would pay a lot of money for. Mm -hmm. Sound good? Mm 